Good morning guys and a welcome, welcome to the Truck A Rudy Show. We have finally made it down to Fergus Falls to this uh, big chief truck stop up here and it's still snowing but I've been driving for a little while and uh, said you know what I'm getting kind of hungry so kind of running low a little bit low on, the, on food in the fridge too so I'm gonna go in here and have me some breakfast yeah and the road is getting a little bit slippery not too bad for me but I've seen several four-wheelers in the ditch already but anyways let's go in and have us a good breakfast what do you guys think so welcome to the show just went and uh, pulled into the uh, fuel island here a little bit after I had breakfast and now we finally cleaned our side windows and mirrors and all that I remember they have a stop sign there so because this is supposedly some sort of back road up there yet but anyways now we got all of that done had us a good breakfast I didn't show you of course why would I? And then take the entrance to the ride in 250 feet. Yeah, the only reason why I would is, you know, kind of make you guys hungry, right? But now it looks like the wind is starting to pick up. But, hey, we gotta go. We gotta go. I wanna go home. I gotta go to Winnipeg first. And then go home, so... We'll see. We got about another five hours of driving to do before we get to Winnipeg so hopefully the roads ain't gonna be too terribly bad I don't think so but then again you never know right just before I got here oh I see a smoky bear up there on the ramp but before I got here I saw a couple of four-wheelers in the ditch already so you know I guess they were driving too fast for the conditions and uh, they spun out yeah but at least it has slowed down a little bit now it's snowing so it's not snowing as much as it was this er earlier this morning so now it's time to hammer down and go let's see it looks like the roads are just wet right now they must have uh, for 64 miles. put some stuff on here already which I did see the snow plows out here earlier so you can definitely tell they have put some stuff on here, either salt or something. So that's awesome, I like that. I really do. It's always nice when they get the, the roads treated, so this way we uh, we can just hammer down and continue on. We don't have to worry about the roads being slippery, right? And that's what we always like. But we had parked here in Fergus Falls, Minnesota. And I think we're pretty much out of the worst part of this system. But then again, who knows, right? But at least they got a good amount of snow up here. Most of the fields are covered now. I bet you the farmers will really like that. And I don't mind snow either. You know, as long as it's not ice rain, we're good to go, right? Here we go, guys. We have just entered into Canada. Yeah, I like it. I like it. It is a little bit bright that sun today, so on this road for 15 I guess kilometers. we'll uh, go ahead and put our sunshades on. And for once, it looks like the scale is closed. I like that too because almost all the time it's open. So today it looks like it's going to be closed. I'm happy about that because I'm uh, on my way to Winnipeg now. And uh, I just called dispatch there, uh, pulled over into the uh, waiting area, I guess, and uh, called up dispatch and I asked him, uh, well, I'll be there tonight or in about two hours probably. So I said, uh, what do you want me to do? You want me to uh, drop this at the yard or what do you want me to do? And they said, yeah, go ahead and bring it to the yard. So. That's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and drop it at the yard. And it looks like we got a little bit of a uh, snow drift up here. I guess we'll try and get into this lane here as soon as I can. Because that can be uncomfortable for that other driver too, right? I'm sure he doesn't like it too much, but 
what can I say? I had pretty heavy winds all day long. And, uh, yeah, it's in the afternoon already. I know I, I don't know, I've been not feeling it today again with making them videos and whatever. Maybe I need to take me another break. I think that'll probably, probably be good for me. Which I haven't done in a little while, so I'm probably due for a little break. Making videos every single day can bear you out after a while. You run out of things and ideas to talk about and show you guys, right? Oh yeah, we got the train up here. Yeah, that's right. I wonder how much snow he's having to push to <laughs> get on his way, right? I'm not sure what these are weird kind of trailers that he's hauling. Looks like they got some sort of steel on there or whatever. A couple of people on the roof there on that trailer. Not sure what they're trying to do, but almost looks like they're working on this railway or something. Yeah, that's what it looks like. They're putting down the uh, new rail up there. I guess they're going to be replacing the rail up here eventually. That's what it looks like anyhow. So, let's go ahead and go to Winnipeg and uh, drop this trailer and find out to see if they're going to get me something going back to the yard in Steinbach. I have just made it into Winnipeg here a little bit ago and we are now uh, traveling around the perimeter going around Winnipeg, going to our terminal guys and that sun over there is starting to go down and it looks amazing I wish I could find me a good place to pull over and find me something interesting to take a picture of and have the nice sunset in the background there but right now I gotta get to my delivery well just to our terminal like I said earlier I called the dispatch and they said to drop it at the yard so that's awesome news I like that and we're not too far from there we're only what 10 miles and we'll be there but by that time I bet you that Sun has probably gone down it wouldn't surprise me but anyways regardless of it we're almost home I haven't gotten any messages saying that they have anything to bring back to the Steinbach yard and I did ask him about that and they said they would send me a message if they had anything but that doesn't mean that they don't have anything it might be why time I get there and drop my trailer the guy has finally said oh yeah we have this loader that you can bring back meters, right take the entrance to the right that can on happen anyhow let's go down there and drop this trailer and see what happens guys GoPro turn off all right guys I did not make a closure video for this clip or for this video so I know I'm recording this afterwards but anyways I uh, got back to the yard and uh, finished doing all my paperwork and uh, I just left the cameras and everything in the truck I said I'm taking a day off so that's exactly what I ended up doing so you won't be seeing a video uh, after this video like the next day <clears throat> but then after that you'll start seeing videos again I just needed a day off but anyways I figured I'd go ahead and close off the show and so with that being said I appreciate you guys watching and I think we all need a break every once in a while and so I did take my break and uh, hopefully we will be more energetic coming back for the following video after that right so with that being said I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here appreciate you guys watching I will see you guys in two days